Hello, set again from macOS 10 screencast.com. This is my Clean My Mac review. You can get this application at macpower.com. It is a free download. And what Clean My Mac is, it's basically a householding application for your Macintosh. It would be so cool if a real household mate was there to Clean My Mac that was, is so beautiful as Clean My Mac is. And to get us started, we will straight go to the application. What this application does, it cleans out your caches, logs, la language files. With all the th different things you can see, you see on the left side can be cleaned out. You can enable all of those options or disable all of those options. In my case, I want to turn on the all these sections except applications and quick arrays. And my first two or three um, test drives of uh, Clima Mac have cleaned about two gigabytes of disk space. To get started, I just want to scan my hard drive now uh, by clicking this scan button. And this will take some time once Clean My Mac has finished its work. You can go to the, you can click on this triangle, for example, uh, choose to resort the list by size and here you see that Safari has in the user's cache 450 megabytes of data. NetNewsWire is place two, is on place two and Apple Mail is somewhere in top 10. If uh, you want to cl only clean out your cache files, just disable all of the other options, click the remove button this will ask you to authenticate if you really want to clean your Mac. Yes, I want to clean my Mac right now. Enter a password, click OK. Then it will take some time for clean my Mac again to delete all those small files. If you have lots of lots of lots of small files, this will take a long time. And once clean my Mac is finished, you will get a nice little growl notification of clean my Mac if it's in the background. We will leave the screencast for the time Clima Mac needs to finish this cleaning cycle and then we get back. Okay, Clima Mac has finished its work. You see on the top right we have our crawl notification working and we can easily go back to our main application. Okay, what about those log files? You can clean them as well. Just enable the main section, remove, hit the remove button on the bottom right and those files will be clean as well. For the language files, Clean My Mac has scanned your hard drive for all those applications that have languages installed you might not need. You can define which languages to keep in the preferences section. In my case, I don't know any Swedish, I don't know any Spanish, um, and I don't know any Japanese. I click remove on and those two applications will be cleaned by clean my mac you can remove all the applications which have universal binaries installed this was important uh, some years ago when you when there was this switch from uh, power pc to the intel cpus and normally you, don't, you just have one cpu installed in your macintosh a uh, Intel or a um, uh, PowerPC CPU and you don't need the other app binary. This just wastes your disk space. So enable the section, remove and those applications will be cleaned out as well. Okay, now for some advanced stuff and this is really cool. You can clean out even extensions like widgets, preferences. This will scan all your uh, preference panes which are currently installed and present you with all the files which belong to this specific preference pane. You have so-called plugins and this section is really cool. I, li I like this a lot. You can, you may already know that there exist these input managers on your system. Just enable all the input managers you want to remove like add in TextMate, the multi-clutch input manager. No, I will leave this on. I'll leave this on my hard drive. The Safari app block and the Safari block. Input manager, uninstall. This will uninstall those 
input managers and they are gone. I have disabled the multi clutch input manager because this one's uh, actually a preference pane which I will remove from my preference panes here. Hit uninstall, yes I know that this is currently in use and it's gone. If you want to uninstall applications from your hard drive, Klima Mac can take of that as well. Or if you want to quick erase files, quick erase is something which does overwrite the files several times for, for more security. You can even shore, share your ignore list with other Klima Mac users. This is a ignoring list where you can put on all those misbehaving applications after they have been removed their um, universal binary stuff. Okay, this was it for this screencast. I hope you like Klima Mac a lot. In my case, I do. If you want to be the lucky winner of one of three licenses, just go to our website again, leave us a comment, link to us if you want. We really need some more people on our website. And see you next time. Bye-bye.